and what's up YouTube in this video which will be another creative world update now I have done a creative world update in like a couple weeks guys so just remember that I will be making a creative world update at this time anyway so it's been like around three weeks so anyway we got five awesome things to show for me to show you guys here today on creative world update number 25 as you may have remembered, I did a 40 subscriber special. Just like show me one of the world, so I've deleted it in the process of trying to fix my computer. But anyway, so we got that taken care of. Let's actually figure out what we're going to be showing you guys here. So, first off, we got the Simpsons TV house here, which I should remind you that all TSMC products. I should remember to you guys that all these things will be made by TSMC. Hence, that's why I got this YouTube page up. So, anyway, guys. So, we got first here the Simpsons TV house, which looks like the TV very similar to the Simpsons. Yeah, we all love it, guys. Everyone loves Simpsons, right? It's way better than Family Guy and a lot better than Family Guy, in my opinion. Anyway, so when we go in, there's going to be a lot of room. You can tell, obviously. A lot of light makes everything better. So, But yeah, I didn't really design an... I didn't really do an in interior because I'm too lazy. L-A-Z-Y. Lazy. Right. Anyway, if you can tell, there's a lot of room in here. And a lot of characteristics from The Simpsons if you look outside like um that like that guys anyway the next thing i will show you guys before we go on to the trains that you may have saw when i was working on the when i was doing the simpsons thing is that the next thing is we're going to be flying to downtown new king city i'm right now in uptown so anyway we're going to go to downtown Town. And we're going to be finding this awesome train station. Well, without any interior. Just want to let you go. There we go. Well, I can barely see. I can actually get there. There we go. Alright. So this is what the train station looks like right now. Honestly, I hadn't got the interior done. Because, remember, when I was doing those two blow-up life hacks... I apparently didn't want to see the destruction of what happened, so I had to do November 10th, and it resulted me in this. So, anyway, my apologies on that part. I have the interior almost done, but honestly, there's nothing I could do about it now. I don't have any previous versions to restore, so that's pretty much bad news. But anyway, that is the train station. I've got the two trains and a separate world, unfortunately. Because I don't want to delete or get rid of my supersonic system that I had in New King Say for a long time. Anyway. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is the pet shop that I told you I got finished here. Now, this pet shop I think is very awesome. But although there's a whole ton of animals in that. When I mean a whole ton of animals, I mean like spawned over t 15 of them. Like more than 5 of them at least. At the max. So anyway, let's just fly this way. This is east, what I like to say. But really, I'm just... Oh well, no, I don't want to try to figure it out right now because I'm flying and... Can't really do that while I'm flying here. I might get lost. Anyway, uh, right here. Right here. Um, let's just go down a little bit this way. Right here is where it is. Actually, it's actually this way a little bit more and give it one moment to load up after this rocket ship. There we go, guys. This is the pet shop right here. 
that I worked on between the Suburban House number 9 and the rocket ship here. So, if we go in, which apparently we do need time to load up. Alright. So, anyway, we're in the pet shop. And we got a whole ton of rabbits, ocelots, mushrooms, instead of spiders, because, if you guys can tell, our piece was locked. I can't unlock it, so I have to put mushrooms in there. There's a couple of bats, which unfortunately might have lied down underneath me. Yes, yes, it was a little bit. Because, yeah, I blew a TNT down here. Oh, and a little rabbit down there. What other surprises will you find? I don't know, there's a lot of surprises down there. Anyway, so, the bats that won't live long, unfortunately. There's a whole ton of wolves here which are staring at the rabbits. Unfortunately, poor old rabbits. And a whole ton of chickens. Equals a whole ton of eggs for me. Yay, I go and cook up some breakfast with this. Breakfast is the favorite thing of the day. Anyway, that's all of New King City here. I've also built this out of sandstone, by the way. Anyway, let's continue on with what else we want to do. Now, we don't want to play any worlds like right now, so. Let's see here. Let's go on Statue World first, before we go on to the two trains. In Statue World, I made this awesome llama house. Again, from TSMC. Every single thing that is in Korea World updates is made by TSMC. Honestly, because it's awesome. Also builds more awesomer than mine, unfortunately. So, anyway, this is like the biggest llama I've ever seen. Complete with extra llamas. And, honestly, when I have the interior designed, it just looks like this, alright? Like, the only thing, there's two beds, and when you go down here, you have an extra bed. Plus a crafted table and chest. That's all I have. Not really, t not really too much anything. But that's honestly what I had in mind. That's the only thing that I could really think of for the interior. So a little surprise to the actual. It's a little bit of a surprise, but people are going to be confused about this now. What I could do is I could destroy the glass and the wool, and. I could have the original restoration back, but I didn't want to do that. I want to have a window here, just to make it look a little bit cooler. But, I mean, honestly, that will destroy a little bit of the llama. Probably disrespect it. Anyway, I love my llama. Llamas are the best animals ever, to be very honest with you. Anyway, guys, that is what I got in Statue World. Let's wrap this show up with what I have in Creator World. Those two trains I want to show you guys. Alright. So first up is the Bonner train here. If you could tell, it looks awesome. So, anyway. So, yeah, let's go inside this Bonner train, shall we? It's a little hard to get in here. There's iron door, and if you think about it, it looks like when you sit here, it's like speedometer, like electric, like electric speedometer, or just like LED, whatever you like to do or customize. That painting is supposed to represent the speedometer that's meant to be digital, complete with. The break here, this lever represents it. The glass makes a great view of... Now, for example, if you had a bullet train running in Tokyo or Paris, you could see those two cities well, guys. I'm not joking. I'm actually serious. Anyway, when you go in here, there's like four seats. So, like, about eight people can fit in this train, it looks like, but... But there's lots of chests, alright? A brewing stand for coffee. A tripwire hook and cauldron for a sink. Furnace for whatever you want to cook up some meat. Probably I'll make this the, the Burger King Express. 
That will be kind of awesome, guys. If I could name this the Burger King Express, we could, like, travel to, like, Burger King in Paris to Tokyo. I'm not sure how that's exactly going to work. We're going to have to probably go through Iran, though. Look. No trying needs to be in Iran, guys. If you think about it, if you think about how politics are in Iran, look, it's nasty. Anyway, we're getting a little bit off topic, so let's just go on to the last carriage here. And you can tell, same thing, but there's purple carpet. And this can only fit up to six people, it looks like that. Anyway, that is all I have, just besides the tracks, for this Mark train. Let's go on to the steam train, shall we? Because the steam train is very detailed. If you could tell, it looks like the Oriental Express in Europe. I wish that thing was still out, but... Unfortunately, they got rid of that when I was young. Trust me, guys. They got rid of it about, I don't know, eight years ago or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. If you look in here, there's lots of coal. This is like the throttle, and that's a parking brake. There's a whole ton of stuff in here. Oh, and they even got shovels. So you can shove the coal into the furnace. You can keep extra coal here. I kept a whole chest of coal. That's pretty awesome. I got end rods here to connect the train. The trains together. Between the carriage and the actual train itself. I think that would be a great idea, guys. And there's lots of seats in here. This can fill up to eight people. This is the one that can actually fit up to eight people. This is the exact same thing for the third carriage. Or the third part of the train. Anyway, so, another thing that you guys can do, I think this was my suggestion, is that you could like, um, if there were buttons here, you could like have, let's just experiment for a moment. If so, we could have, if TSMC didn't even think of this, we can have, like, yellow wool over the wheels. Because if you think about it, a train would normally have, like, some protection, I would say. But I think this would be the correct answer. Yeah, so. Wait, let me just grab the buttons. Do that. But anyway, guys, that looks like that wraps up today's Creator World update. All right. Hopefully, starting next Tuesday, I will have stuff regularly made every day. All right. TSMC really things every day. All right. Hopefully, I will still continue on my tours. All right. Anyway, so if you take a look on what happens on my channel now, I made a burger house video. I will provide a link in the description so that you can watch this awesome video. So let me tell you what the burger looks like. If you watch my video, you will see that the burger would um, look like, let's see here, let's see if I can actually get a good image. That. That is what the burger would look like. So make sure you watch that video. I. I will leave in the link in the description. This is for people who love fast food like me. Anyway, guys, that is all I've got for you guys today. Please do not remember. Please do remember. I meant to say. Please don't. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and by the way, when you subscribe to my channel, don't forget to press on this um, notifications button. But I don't need to subscribe to myself. Is also that's just like cheating. So anyway, please do remember to please do remember to press on this notifications. I'm on someone else's channel, for example. Press on the little bell because that will give you notifications, so you will never ever miss a video from me again. All right. Anyway, I do need no more subscribers, so so that's why I tell you guys that every day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below. Here's a great example, alright? This is what I'm talking about, the comment section down below. What should I make next, alright? 
Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time in another.